June of 2016, the country is divided. Half of Great Britain wishes to stay as they were since 1972, a member of the European Union. The other half, on the other hand, has had enough. They want to take back control of their borders, as they so frequently proclaimed. A referendum is held, which yields a slight but clear majority. The United Kingdom is set to leave the EU, and so begins a long, often painful journey towards what the 51% majority calls freedom. It would take four years and three prime ministers for that freedom to become a reality, if it ever did, but that's a discussion I do not wish to have. Shortly after the referendum results were announced, the PM responsible for the whole thing resigned, leaving the job of actually delivering it to his successor, who also failed to do it, which led to three extensions of the deadline, which eventually led to what many call a Brexit in name only. But anyway, that's enough about the history of Brexit. Let's talk about its implications for people like me, people who wish to move to, or recently moved, to the UK. Before Brexit, if you lived in the EU, all you had to do was make up your mind, get your things, and move. Now, it's a little more complicated. Right after Brexit, it didn't change much. All the way until January 2020, and even after the transition, you could still move without restrictions. Of course, after that there were different kinds of restrictions, but let's leave that for another time. So, if someone wants to move to the UK now, let the transition ends as well. They have to do so the traditional way, like everyone else would, with a visa and such. Unless, of course, you made some arrangements before that date. Basically, the government came up with the scheme, called EU Settlement Scheme, which allows EU citizens who were present in the UK before cutoff day to continue working and living in the UK after that. All you had to do was be in the UK for any amount of time before December 31st, 2020. It allowed you to apply for a pre-settled status and continue living in the UK for an additional five years, at which point you can apply for settled status or even citizenship if you wish. And that's exactly what I did. I made a trip to Liverpool in August 2020, which originally was my first attempt to settle down, but it failed and ended up serving as my, shall I say, excuse to be able to apply for this scheme, thus allowing me to continue pursuing my dream. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope you found this informative, and if you did, let me know. See you next time.